Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Tips and Scripts for Living the Caregiver's Life. And I am Minister Nat. I am so glad that you are here with me today. Whatever day it is that you are watching this video, I have something that I want to share with you today, something that I hope will encourage you. For the last two weeks, I have been talking about God's love for you, God's love for us. He loves us so much, y'all. I mean, He loves us so much. He loves us. Let me be very specific because sometimes people don't hear the me in us, but he loves you. Okay. He loves you. He loves me. He loves us. And I want so much for people to get that. Now, before I go on, I would like for you to please subscribe to this channel. Please share this video. If it's a blessing to you after I'm done, give it a thumbs up so it can make its way around YouTube. I'm trying to reach as many people as I possibly can. So I need your help to do that. There's just so much that I can do. I can do the video, but I need people to please support it if it's a blessing to you if you even if it wasn't a blessing to you or it didn't necessarily apply to you if you think it can apply to somebody else by all means please share it i really appreciate it and turn on the notification bell so you can remember or so that you can get notified when a new video is posted and that's usually every monday evening so i want to tell you today again God loves you. God is our father. So what father wants his child to run away from them? He loves us. He doesn't want us to run away from him when we have done wrong. He wants us to run towards him, to him, because when we run away, it's actually going to be harder for us. It's kind of the same concept of when your mama or your daddy or whoever it was that might've been giving you a spanking, they said, don't run from me, you know? And even if you didn't grow up with spankings, because I realized not everybody did, but in my day, people got spankings. Okay. Nowadays they'll call the folks on you, but I digress. Um, the thing is, even if you didn't grow up in a household where where, you know, you may have gotten spanked. You had a parent, you had a guardian that their feelings get hurt and they get a little in them in their feelings and, and get hurt and angry a little bit because it's like, if you had come to me when this happened, if you had come to me when you first got in trouble, then we could have avoided all of this, no matter what, whatever this is, it could have been easier. It would have been easier if you had come to me first. But how many people do that? A lot of times we don't do that, do we? We typically run to this person and that person and everybody else telling them about what happened, what didn't happen. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm going to get in trouble. And the fact is we're making more trouble for ourselves when we run away from those that love us and want to help us. Well, it's the same way with God. When we have done something, we need to fess up confess and run to him, not away from him. So I'm going to read this devotional and then I'm going to probably call it quits. We'll see what happens. Okay. But here it is. This is part three of the series about God loves you. And he does my friends. So here I go. It says Simon Peter denied Jesus three times. We all know that he did. After the third time, Peter ran off and he cried his eyes out. When Jesus got up or when he rose from the dead and Peter heard about it, he ran to the tomb to see Jesus. And that's in John 20th verses three through four. I'm going to have it on the screen here. Judas on the other hand, betrayed Jesus. We all know about Judas and everybody's got a Judas in our lives, right? But Judas, here's the thing about Judas that I want to paint a picture for you about him. When he realized what he had actually done, he ran off. He ran away. And what did he do? He killed himself, hung himself. He hung himself. He ran away believing in his mind that he could never be forgiven without even giving Jesus a chance. He didn't give Jesus a chance to even forgive him. He didn't give Jesus a chance to explain it's okay, son. It's okay. This is another way of thinking about Judas. He didn't give him a chance, didn't give Jesus a a chance, didn't realize the love that Jesus had for him. That when Jesus died on that cross, the first thing that he said was, forgive them, Lord, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. He ran off and killed himself. 
So in his mind, he could never be forgiven is what he thought. Perhaps he had always doubted the love of God. Perhaps. Perhaps he didn't understand how Jesus loves. You know, a lot of times we don't understand God's love. His love, the way he demonstrates it, the way he does things is very different from us human beings. He wants us to learn how he loves. And if you want to learn how God loves, if you want to know how real love is demonstrated, go back and read my video from last week. Or I should say, watch it. Go back and watch it. I'll put a little, uh, I'll put a little link there so that you can go back and watch it. It's, it'll be somewhere on the screen here. Okay. So perhaps he didn't know how Jesus loves. He didn't understand it. He ran away to his death. He ran away to his death. Hear that. David, King David, he had Bathsheba's husband killed after he got her present, pre pregnant. Okay. He did something awful. He ignored God when he sinned. But when he was confronted by Nathan of his sins, he ran back to God and asked for forgiveness. He always ran to God, never away. Even in David's wrongdoing, he never ran away. He may have ignored him. How many of us have done that? And, you know, he was in his own way, not really trying to, he was trying to, uh, you know, cover up his sins, obviously, trying to cover up the wrongdoing that he did. But when he was confronted with his wrongdoing, David said, you know what? He fessed up, he confessed, and he said, you know what? Father, forgive me. This is what we have to do. We can learn from King David. We can learn from Peter. Peter ran to the tomb. He didn't, he didn't say, well, Jesus wouldn't want to see me. I have no reason for living. He would never forgive me for what I did to him. I denied him three times. Cuss that girl out. He won't, he, he's not going to forgive me. Yes, he will. Judas didn't give him a chance. Don't be like Judas and don't give Jesus a chance. My friend, don't ever run away from God. You messed up, fess up, ask for, for, ask for forgiveness and keep running the race he has marked out for you. Run to him, not away from him. Don't run to your death, run to your life. Jesus would never run away from you. Run. He came from heaven. He came for you from the cross. He died for you from the grave. He got up for you. He ran to you. He still loves you. He still loves you. He still loves you. Let him love you. Don't run away from him. Give him a chance. He is he is faithful to forgive. All we got to do is confess and then don't do it again. Do your best not to do it again. With him, you can succeed in not doing it again. And don't focus on doing it again. Here is the tip. You got several tips here that I'm spitting out of my mouth. The first tip is quite simple. When you mess up, fess up. Don't run away to God, away from God. Run to him. Run to him, run away from the devil, run to him. See, the devil wants you to get stuck in guilt and shame. He wants you to believe that God will never forgive you. Run away from him. The Bible says to submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. You've got to run away from the devil and his lies thinking that God won't forgive you. I'm going to have a scripture up here, Psalm uh, 103. He is faithful as far as the east is from the west. That's how far he removes his transgressions from us when we ask for forgiveness. So fess up that you've messed up. Run to him. Jesus ran to you. Again, he came from heaven. Run into you. Run in. For me, he, he ran that race, y'all, to the end, to the cross, died. He got up for you, running to you. He came back to the people, the very people that denied him, the very people that, the, the, that, that ran away when he was getting uh, uh, flocked and, and, and beaten and, and, and folks act like they didn't know him. 
All of the disciples ran. All of the disciples deserted him. They abandoned him. But who came back? He didn't run back to, to, to the heavenly father right off. No, of course he had to, because, you know, I'll put that scripture in there. He did have to go, but he didn't run. He had to go up because, you know, he had to take care of some things and then he had to come back and then he was amongst his people again, but he didn't stay again. He didn't run away and said, father, uh, uh-uh. did you see the way they treated me? No, he forgave from his heart on that cross. He said, father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And he came right back to the people that abandoned him, right back to the people that deserted him, right back to the person that denied him, ran to a person that doubted him. Judas didn't give him a chance. Don't be a Judas. Don't be a Judas. Don't run away. Judas ran to his death. The enemy, his way is death. He wants you to believe that God will not forgive. He wants you to literally kill yourself in your mind, in your soul, to the point that you think that there is no hope for you. God loves you, my friend. Don't run away from him. Don't do that. Don't hurt his feelings. Don't hurt his feelings. He is your father. If he is indeed your father, if you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and in your heart you believe and you walk in this fine line called the caregiver's life, that is the way I call it, but this Christian life, he is your heavenly father. And I'll have some scripture on there about that too. I just don't have it. I'm letting the Holy Spirit lead me, okay? So just go back and read these scriptures that I'm giving you. I just want you to know he is faithful to forgive faithful to forgive. God loves you so much. Don't run away. So if this has been a blessing to you, I'm going to stop talking because I go on and on, you know, because I can certainly, I'm going to tell you something, a little quick testimony. I would run away from God whenever I would do something that I knew was not becoming of his, one of his children. I would run away because I was shamed. I couldn't face him. Even in prayer, I couldn't face him. I couldn't, I didn't think that it, I was worthy to even face God. So I wouldn't come to him. But that spirit of God that is on the inside of you when you are a child of God, he will just urge you. He will nudge you. He will say, come back, child. I got you. I love you. Don't run away from me. Let me love on you. Just don't do it no more. Remember the woman caught in the act of adultery. What did Jesus say? One of the main things he said, he said afterwards, he said, I don't, I don't condemn you. Where are your accusers? I have none, she said. Jesus said, neither do I condemn you. But this is the most important thing. On top of that, he said, go and sin no more. All right. So I don't care how many times you might mess up. We might still mess up. Fess up every time. David He had some issues, but I said I was going to hush then. Okay, I'm going to hush. But look, I probably put some more scriptures in the description box about David and how he was a man after God's own heart. That man was always running to God, always running. He didn't ever run away. You remember he ran? Well, anyway, I'm talking some more. Let me go, y'all. Listen, if this was a blessing to you, please give it a thumbs up so this thing can make its way around YouTube and make its way into some other people's lives and into some other people's hearts. These are tips and scripts for you, but they're tips and scripts for me too. Things to live by, to live this caregiver's life. It ain't always easy, but you know what? Together we can do it. With Christ, we can do all things because he gives us the strength. Be blessed, my friend. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you won't miss another video. Until next time, be blessed and take care of yourself. Bye.